Welcome to Guide to Survive. The world is a big, beautiful place, full of incredible and breathtaking sights and experiences. It's also doing everything it can to kill you, and so that's where this program fits in. Before you venture into the great outdoors, you need to learn about all of the terrifying and mystical creatures that lurk in the woods, knock on your window, and hide in your toilet. With this guide, you'll learn how to identify a would-be assailant, analyze its strengths and weaknesses, and deal with it effectively. By the end of your training, you'll be ready to take on any creep or cryptid that crosses your path. So here's to you, and the great adventure that lies ahead. Let's begin. Target Analysis Name Ratman of South End Class Cryptid Phantom Rat Human Habitat An underpass South End on Sea Essex United Kingdom Lifespan Not applicable Strengths Undead Enhanced senses as well as capable of becoming tangible and intangible at will Weaknesses. Bound to location and miscellaneous food items. Overall threat level, 5. <coughs> Behaviour. The Ratman of South End. A mysterious and unique soul in the world of the paranormal to say the least. Little is known of this individual, save for the circumstances leading up to his tragic death and the echoes of what remains. We begin in Essex. It was a cold night when a homeless man was seeking shelter from the chilling rain which poured down over the city of Southend-on-Sea. Perhaps with nowhere else to go, the wanderer took refuge within an underpass to wait for more favourable conditions. Which was honestly just a terrible idea from the start. Have you seen those things? I'm not sure how common they are outside of the UK, but goodness me do they scream of bad decisions. Sorry, back to the story. However, this momentary shelter would shortly become something far more permanent for the man. As during the night, a gang of youths moved through the underpass, set themselves upon him, beating the poor blighter to near death before leaving him where he lay. Unfortunately, Due to the exposure from the cold and wounds he sustained from the attack, he died in that very underpass. As he lay there on the ground, numerous rats began to congregate around his remains. Looking to feed and fatten themselves up in order to fight the cold, they devoured his face. Shortly after this terrible tragedy occurred, there were numerous accounts of strange happenings emanating from that infamous underpass. Scratching sounds, like those of claws dragging along the walls, back and forth, as well as loud squeaking which resonated out from within the underpass. Some of those brave enough to enter the pass had reported witnessing a spectral figure appearing before them, the body of a man but with the head of a rat. The spirit would give chase briefly, then disappear once the individual had left the underpass. What the exact driving forces behind the Ratman's continued presence in our world is currently unknown. There are of course several theories, revenge, unfulfilled purposes, a curse. My money's on gypsy magic. Safe bet. What we can ascertain with reliable cause, however, is that the Ratman is tied to the underpass, as he has yet to be reported as appearing anywhere else. Furthermore, this phantom is capable of physical interaction. Reportedly scratching his claws across the wall of the underpass and tearing apart shopping bags dropped by fleeing pedestrians. Woe to all those burdened by cheese! Additionally, the Ratman is often heard before seen, which indicates that his appearance within the underpass is most likely of his own volition. Perhaps seeing the area as his territory, therefore defending it from intruders who mean to encroach onto his home. It is also important to note that the Ratman has reported to make a squeaking noise. Some have speculated this is a form of communication requesting help from those who enter the underpass, whereas others believe this simply to be a regression into a rat-like persona. Regardless, it's not very helpful. <coughs> Lastly, be warned. 
the Rat Man is clearly active and seemingly in full or at least firm control of his own power, despite of its limited distance and while still immersed in such mystery. But what is known is that the Rat Man of South End is most certainly of Essex. So be careful. Stratagem. So, here's the scenario. While visiting South End on Sea, you're taking in the sights around the city. In order to cross the road without having to dodge traffic, you decide to use an underpass. However, while walking through, you hear a loud squeaking echoing around you and the scraping of claws along the walls. As your eyes adjust, you see the Rat Man of South End appear before you. Your plan of attack. Firstly, turn around. If you're close enough to the exit, turn around and leave. You'll just have to find another way to cross the road. Secondly, stand fast. If you didn't take the first option, that's fine. Your payments were made in advance anyway. Right. Hold your ground and wait for the Rat Man to approach. Be ready. Thirdly, Rat Trap. Quickly, the Rat Man is close at hand. Throw whatever food or miscellaneous items you have on you. The Rat Man will be drawn to this and probably want to chew on it for a while. Fourthly, step away. While the Rat Man is distracted with that thing you threw at him, that I'm not going to say out loud, run past him and escape at the other end of the underpass. Fifthly, amazing work. You escaped the Rat Man and Essex. I'm so proud. Pop quiz. Question number one. Is it true that the Rat Man was born physically resembling a rat? Question number two. Is it true that the Rat Man is a ghost? Question number three. Is it true that the Rat Man will walk the streets of South End on Sea? Question number four. Is it true that the Rat Man can physically interact? Question number five. Is the Rat Man unique to the UK? Answers. Question number one. Is it true that the Rat Man was born physically resembling a rat? Answer, no. Before death, the Rat Man appeared as an average human. Only after death did his face resemble that of a rat. Question number two. Is it true that the Rat Man is a ghost? Answer, yes. The Rat Man is a spirit attached to the underpass. Question number three. Is it true that the Rat Man will walk the streets of South End on Sea? Answer, no. The Rat Man is bound to the underpass and seemingly cannot leave. Question number four. Is it true that the Rat Man can physically interact? Answer, yes. Despite being a ghost, the Rat Man can become tangible. Question number five. Is the Rat Man unique to the UK? Answer, yes. The Rat Man has only ever been reported in the United Kingdom. If you scored 0 to 1, then it looks like you'll be sharing eternity with the Rat Man in an underpass in Essex. If you scored 0 to 2, then you might be alive, but you'll never be able to go underground again. Not even for me, which is hurtful. And if you scored 4 to 5, superb work. If you and I ever end up in prison together, I know for certain you're no rat. Conclusion Excellent work. I'd say you're ready to get out there and face whatever challenges plot against you. And if you're not, then don't worry. You can re-watch these survival guides as much as you like. And they're non-refundable. I'm very proud of the progress you've made, and I know you're going to take the future in your stride. I've got a good feeling about you, Willard. Good luck, and don't die! <coughs> Disclaimer. Essex was not harmed in the making of this video.